Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to show that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation and how we solve homogeneous differential equation. You observe this question here, they given a differential equation. What to do? We need to show that this differential equation is homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation and we need to solve this differential equation. Solving homogeneous differential equations is little lengthy problem. It takes time to understand. Here I written all step by step procedure. First we will try to understand what procedure we are following. You observe these two steps. In these two steps we will prove that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. What is step one? Whatever the given differential equation, we will write that differential equation into this form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. After writing given differential equation into this form, we will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. What is f of x comma y? We learned in previous class. We will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. If you are able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. So these two steps are to show given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. From third step onwards, it is solving homogeneous differential equation. Once you confirmed that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation, then we will solve that homogeneous differential equation by this method. First, we will put y equal to vx. In that differential equation, wherever y is there, there we will write vx. If you differentiate this with respect to x on both sides, like this, this side I applied product rule. Then you will get dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx. What I will do in the given differential equation, in place of y, I will write vx. In place of dy by dx, I will write v plus x into dv by dx. After the third step, to solve this differential equation, I will go through variable separable method. To understand how we solve homogeneous differential equation, it is must that you must know variable separable method. I already done videos on how to solve a differential equation by variable separable method. You can go through it. Okay, let's start the solution. This is the given differential equation. First thing we need to show that it is a homogeneous differential equation. For that, I will write given differential equation into this form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. You take dx to this side, then what you will get? You will get that dy by dx equal to uh, what will be there here right hand side x square plus y square whole divided by you take this expression to this side then what you will get x square plus xy you can observe this is a function in x and y okay so i written given differential equation into this form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y what is f of x comma y here f of x comma y is x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy Okay, now to check whether it is a homogeneous differential equation or not, I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? In this f of x comma y, in place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. In place of x, you write lambda x. Whole square plus. In place of y, you write lambda y. So this will become lambda y whole square whole divided by in place of x you write lambda x lambda x whole square plus x into y in place of x i'll write lambda x in place of y i'll write lambda y now you observe the numerator part here this is lambda square x square correct lambda square x square plus you observe this part what is this this is lambda square y square divided by you see this one lambda square x square this is what this is lambda square into x square plus here lambda into lambda is lambda square x into y is xy you can observe in the numerator part here lambda square is there here lambda square is there in the denominator part here lambda square is there here also lambda square is there so you take lambda square common in the numerator as well as denominator then both will get cancelled then you will get like this x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy okay so here 
here 1 will be there that 1 we can write it as lambda power 0 we know that lambda is a constant and lambda is not equal to 0 you observe here lambda power 0 is 1 and you got this expression what i am trying to do here i am trying to write this expression in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y here what you got this is lambda power 0 into you observe what is this x square plus y square divided by x square plus x y that is nothing but f of x comma y so f of x comma y finally what you identified we identified that f of lambda x comma lambda y can be written as lambda power 0 into f of x comma y you observe this second step we written f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y with this what i can say i can say that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero i'll conclude the same given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero as they are asking in the question show that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation so we showed that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero third step now it's time for solving the differential equation to solve the differential equation you observe this third step and fourth step what is third step we'll put y equal to vx and dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx in the given differential equation in this differential equation in place of dy by dx i'll write v plus x into dv by dx okay so write in place of dy by dx you write that what you'll write v plus x into dv by dx see in this differential equation in place of dy by dx i written v plus x into dv by dx equal to now in this part in place of y we will write vx x will be same only in place of y we will write vx right x square plus in place of y you write vx then what it will become it will become v square x square please try to understand in place of y if i write vx vx whole square vx whole square is v square x square divided by x square plus x into y in place of y you write vx x into vx okay right if we simplify this further what happens? you observe in the numerator x square is there okay here x square is there here also x square is there in the denominator also here x square is there here x square is there you please try to understand you take x square common in the numerator and take x square common in the denominator both will get cancelled then what will be remaining this will be remaining what is that 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v right okay now little bit of simplification i'll do here what i'll do i'll take this v to right hand side this happens every time x into dv by dx equal to yes 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v minus v okay x into dv by dx equal to you take the lcm here what is lcm lcm is 1 plus v then what you will get here you will get that 1 plus v square minus v into 1 plus v divided by 1 plus v okay x into dv by dx equal to yes what you will get 1 plus v square multiply v into 1 is v I, this is minus v plus of minus is minus v into v is v square divided by 1 plus v you observe here this plus v square minus v square will get cancelled then what you will get you will get that x into dv by dx equal to 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v all these things we got from this step 3 only you please try to understand what we done we shown that this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation once we identified it is a homogeneous differential equation we have a particular procedure what is that particular procedure we will write y equal to vx and in place of dy by dx we will write v plus x into dv by dx and i written and i simplified i got like this now we will go through this step 4 what is step 4 from now onwards we will follow variable separable method to solve this differential equation in variable separable method here two things are there v dv x dx okay so in variable separable method v variables dv at one side x variable dx at one side we will write like this what you will do you take this 1 plus v to this side left hand side because we always want into dv 
1 plus v divided by 1 minus v into dv equal to now you take uh, this dx to this side and x to this right hand side when you take x to this right hand side it will become 1 by x into dx you can observe here all v variables dv at one side all x variables dx at one side okay once we separate v variable dv x variable dx then in variable separable method what we will do we will integrate on both sides right integral of 1 plus v 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v into dv equal to integral of 1 by x into dx here a little tricky thing tricky step is there if, if you are good in integration you can understand this very easily this 1 is there now this 1 I will write it as 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 only now let I will tell you why we, why I am writing like this divided by 1 minus v into dv equal to integral of 1 by x into dx you observe here if we see an expression of the form a plus b divided by c which can be written as a by c plus b by c right so here this i'll write it as 2 divided by 1 minus v how we will write this as 2 divided by 1 minus v and here minus 1 plus v is there what i'll do i'll take minus common if we take minus common what you will get here this minus 1 will become plus 1 and this plus v will become minus v that means you will get like this 1 minus v divided by 1 minus v please try to understand this you can understand this easily right into dv equal to we know this integration formula integral of 1 by x dx is what integral of 1 by x dx is log x base e plus c while solving variable separable method we'll write plus c at any one side only so i written plus c here okay now you observe this part how we integrate we integrate each and every term integral of this part here 2 is constant so that 2 i can write outside the integral 2 into integral of 1 divided by 1 minus v into dv you see here this 1 minus v 1 minus v will get cancelled here 1 is remaining minus integral of 1 into dv equal to log x base e plus good now you observe 2 i written as usual now integral of this expression we know this formula in integration integral of f dash of x divided by f of x into dx when the numerator is the derivative of denominator then we write its answer directly what is its answer log mod f of x base e plus so here the derivative of 1 minus v with respect to v is what derivative of 1 minus v with respect to v derivative of 1 is 0 minus derivative of v with respect to v is 1 it tells you that derivative of 1 minus v is minus 1 here plus 1 is there so to integrate this easily i'll write 1 minus here and i'll write 1 minus here so here minus 2 its derivative is there in the numerator so we can apply its answer directly we can apply this integral what you will get log mod f of x here what is f of x f of x means 1 minus v minus integral of 1 dv we know the formula integral of kdx is kx so integral of 1 dv is v equal to log x base e plus okay now you observe in this differential equation there is v is not there you observe here v considered y equal to vx so what is v from this v is y divided by x so in this in place of v i'll write y by x because v considered y equal to vx v is y by x minus 2 log 1 minus what is v v is y divided by minus v what is v v is y by x equal to log x base e plus this is the solution for the given homogeneous differential equation one very very important point from person to person the answer will vary in solving differential equations because here while solving variable separable method i written plus c i written on the right hand side some people will write on the left hand side some people will write log c because log c is also some integral constant so from person to person answer will vary only the thing is answer looks different but everything will gives the same meaning what i am trying to say here this is the required solution of the given homogeneous differential equation these problems are a little lengthy, but 
it's not very difficult to understand.